Welcome back to another episode of SR Now Stream Fiend. I am your host, Motto. We are here. We are back. Um, you know why we're here. Or well, maybe you don't know why we're here, but you've read the title. You clicked it. You know what we're doing. We're doing that uh, Mortal Kombat HBO Max, the 2021 version. I don't even know what they call it, uh, but the 2021 version. But, be- but before we get into that, I got to let you know who my sponsors are. My, this episode is being sponsored by Stash Me clothing please go to stashme.net type in the promo code stash stream and you'll get 10% off your entire stash me clothing orders a lot of dope stuff in there load your card up put in that stash stream in the checkout and get that discount that 10% discount right off the top of your order that is exclusive to my SR now stream for listeners so it's important that you guys take care of our sponsors that's how you take care of the show so yeah, again, stashme.net promo code is stash slime. I'm gonna have everything in the description, so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to look around or, or keep replaying or anything like that. I'm everything, everything in the description. In the description, you can copy and paste and do your thing. All right, Mortal Kombat HBO Max. Shout out to HBO Max. I'm, I'm gonna say this. I don't think I've said this before, but shout out to HBO Max. We, we're talking about cinema releases. We're talking about big cinema releases that we can watch in our living room. It's in the theaters at the same time, and it's in our living room at the same time. Like we have the option now to rather go to go to the uh, 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 movie theaters versus just watching it at home. And um, depending on who you are, uh, one may be better than the other. I'm gonna, I won't I won't uh, I won't put my energy on anyone else, but one may be better than the other. But it is what it is, right? So, and I hope other studios inherit that idea to go ahead and just. You know, release the movies on the streaming platform. Every listen, every major player has a streaming platform at this point, right? Release it on the streaming platform the day of, right? And then release it in the movies at the same time. People are still going to go to the movies. You have subscribers. The subscribers, if they know they're gonna get a if the subscribers know they're gonna get a marquee movie once a month, twelve months out of the year, they're happy with paying that subscription. Already, you see what I'm saying? Like they're happy with just paying that subscription. To be completely honest, so I hope a lot of other, um, a lot of other movie, a big movie studios like Warner Brothers, the Universals, the Sony's, and and so forth and so on. I hope that they uh, actually that they actually inherit uh, that model, that business model as well. But let's get into Mortal Kombat. Look, off the top, man, I like the movie. I I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say I like the movie. I enjoyed the movie. Right, I'm a big I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan as, as much as anybody else. I had a Sega Genesis, right? I had a Sega Genesis. I, had, I, I played Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis, the first one, the original one, right? So I'm I've, I'm in, I'm inherited, uh, not inherited. I've I have a vested interest in most, if not all, of these characters. Whether I love them, I hate them, I don't like you know what I mean. I had the Xbox now, and then I played um, Mortal Kombat X or Ten. On a new Xbox. And it's great. It's still great. It's better, in fact. It's, it's the best it's ever been, in my opinion. But, so, you know, Mortal Kombat, you know, it just, and for people in my generation, it has a, it, it has a, uh, it just, it has a spot, has a soft spot. It has a, it has a, it has a, it has a, a very soft, nostalgic uh, place in our minds and our souls, to be completely honest. For people who played the game, people who, who know about the game? Um, there's some women out there that are excited about the release of this movie, and they never played the game, but they were around their fathers or their uncles or their brothers that actually played Mortal Kombat all the time, and they know some of the characters just by sitting back and watching. And to me, that's even dope. So, Mortal Kombat it has a soul a soul connection to a Pacific generation, and I am a part of that generation, and they I, I'm very connected to the soul. With that being said, I'm happy to see the characters that I've seen. I'm gonna give. Um, I don't. I don't know who the director is. I should have did the research on this, but I don't. I don't know who the director is or the casting director, but I think the casting was a one. I love the fact that the characters look like the characters. If you don't know what that means, the characters are in a video game. Like they don't have a real personality. They're they're, they're uh, uh, computer generated. They they don't have. They're not real people. But when you do a movie about computer generated characters. People want those characters to look like the movie. And I got to say, the casting director did an amazing job. An amazing job, in my opinion. 
Now, those are the good things, right? Oh no, I'm not done with my good things. I like the court. I like the uh, the fight. The fight scenes. I like. I like most, if not all, of the fight scenes. I like the fatalities. I like the idea that um, you know. I like the uh, the idea of the guy saying you know, uh, Conan wins, or uh, fatality or stuff like that. I, li- I like that they said that in there. Um, I like that as well. I like that. I like the length of the movie too. I didn't like. It wasn't too long. It wasn't too long at all. It was, it was, it was like less than two hours. I think. I think it was about less than two hours. Oh, I think it was, was it an hour and 50 minutes? I think it was an hour and 50 minutes. So it was less than, yeah, less than, less than two hours. But I'll take that. I'll take that. It's not, it wasn't four hours like, uh, <laughs> what's like, uh, what's that? The Justice League. It's not, it wasn't that at all. So I'll take that. It was, it was, a, it was concise. They told the story. They got the story off. They made their point. They, they got the right, the rising resolution, the climax, the falling resolution. They got everything in, into the story. They, they sealed up every story. And they left a little room at the end, but we'll get to that later. They left a little room for a potential another Mortal Kombat movie in the future. So, but we'll see, right? So, yeah, those those are the things that I liked. Those are the things that I liked. So, okay, what I here's what I didn't like. <sighs> I didn't like some of the comedy that was the, some of the forced comedy that was in there. Like there were some things that were fun. There were some characters that said some funny things, and it, it made sense. The timing was right. And then there were some characters that said that that tried to say funny things, and then it just didn't it didn't land that well. Very very subtle, very very small. It didn't make a big difference in the movie, but it's just something that I noticed that I didn't like that much. Okay, cool. We all know the storyline, right? So, if you play any Mortal Kombat game, we know the storyline. We know the beef that Scorpion and um and Sub Zero had. That apparently that beef is deeper than rap. Like if you can see how it goes, like the man went to hell and came back and. You know, it's, it's, it's deeper than we understand, right? So, we all know the story. The story itself is not that elaborate, right? I thought when you... I, my, my thinking is, I thought when you put it on the big screen or on the silver screen, so to speak, or so it said, that you 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 create, you create, a, you create a deeper story. Like you have... Marvel does it all the time. DC does it all the time. Marvel and DC are... All things generated based on comics that was written years ago, but yet and still they'll generate stories and and um, generate stories and and, and storylines. You know they'll they'll generate storylines based on that. They'll stem from the comics and then they'll generate storylines going forward. So all I'm saying is they had an opportunity to do that, but they they kind of stayed true and blue to some degree. Like the, the story was about ninety percent of what. We know about Mortal Kombat in the games, like the storyline kind of, right? So, I thought they had an opportunity to make the story, to make a rich story. They, they could have made the story a lot richer. They could have added ingredients. You know how you add ingredients to cake to make the cake more rich or more moist or more soft and stuff like that? They could have made th- the story a lot more rich, rich than it was. You know what I mean? I think Warner Brothers had the budget for them and they, and they could have did that. Um, so, to me, the story, it, the story came off cheesy. But the reality is the story is cheesy. But I'm I'm saying once Hollywood gets it, they could have they could have took that and ran with a much. They could have did a deeper deeper story. And I'm not saying I hated the story. I'm just saying that I I expected a deeper richer storyline all the way through. Like I thought, you know, uh, and, and and they have many more times to get it right. Warner Brothers. We'll get into. I, well, I'll get into that later. I'll get into that later. But um. What else did I like? What else did I like? I didn't like. Uh, well, this is this is this is interesting because I I love Sub Zero in this movie. I like Sub Zero, but I I didn't like how they made Sub Zero look bigger and better than he actually was. So Sub was actually he looked like he was like he was bigger than life at the end of this point, right? And I didn't understand how they got him looking like he can you know he can he can do anything doing like I like that they they had they showed him some of the. Some of the moves that are actually in the game, right? They showed that in the movie, but then at some points they showed things that was like, uh, I don't think Sub would do that. I then I saw, I don't think Sub would do that. So I didn't like that. I thought they made him too, too. I think they made him too strong or too. Uh, I think they made him bigger than what he was, to my, in my opinion. Right? And that's just my opinion. I'm just a Mortal Kombat fan, and that's just my opinion. So it is what it is, right? Um. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think I, that's those are things I didn't like. Those are things I like. Those are things I like. Those are things I didn't like. And um, 
you know, overall, I think Warner Brothers has an opportunity. Check this out, Warner Brothers. I'm going to give y'all this for free. If y'all want to, y'all can make this a series, right? Y'all can make this a series. Y'all can drag it out slower. The story is slower. The people from my generation are going to tune in anyway. Me, myself included. We're going to tune in anyway. We're so nostalgic for Mortal Kombat. We're going to tune in anyway. Or, you can make this movie, you can make these Mortal Kombat movies every two years. Mortal Kombat has a lot of characters and um, more characters than, than that were introduced in this in this um, in this movie. And you also have the Dark Realm and so many realms that just because they die doesn't mean that they just die. They went to they might they might can be they might can live in another realm and stuff like that. So y'all can keep this going. They can make a Mortal Kombat movie every two years if they wanted to. In fact, and I think if they want HBO Max to work, I think they should make it. They should make a, a movie or an adaptation of this movie every two years going forward. So 2023, there should be another Mortal Kombat movie. 2025, there should be another Mortal Kombat movie. If you want HBO Max to work. But it is what it is. So that's my assessment. Oh, my flash screen. So I'm, I gave it I gave it 7 out of 10 flash screens, man. I enjoy seeing the characters. Again, the story is dull because the story is dull. But I thought Hollywood would enhance it, but they didn't. But the story is what it is, right? They just, it's, it's not very much story to work on with this Mortal Kombat movie, right? So I gave it a 7 out of 10 flash screen. That's my rating for the movie. And um, yeah, make sure you rate, subscribe, and review on whatever platform you listen to the show on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys next Tuesday.